so hi everyone and welcome back today uh, i'm going to be showing you all how i did in my grade semester one examinations studying physics here at the university of manchester and uh, to be honest with you first of all i'm not going to be doing a live reaction to my grades i've already looked at them like about a week more than a week back and i did not do quite well so i had to prepare myself to <laughs> make this video because I was not ready to show my grades, um, to put my grades out there, but now I think I'm confident enough and I think it's been a long amount of time for me to care about anymore. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to be looking at how I did and I'm going to be sharing all of my grades with you all. So here I am on my results page. So as I've already told you in one of my previous videos that I have in total, I had in total five modules in my semester one, which included microecon. Um, dynamics, quantum physics and relativity, astrophysics and maths and I've gotten back grades for all of them and the marking criteria for each of these exams was slightly different. For microecon most of my grade was based on the essay and a few assess tests that I, that I gave every now and then but mainly on my essay so microecon to get started with was my worst grade of, of all five and the reason i think was because i have never done anything in my life in which i had to write an academic essay and be marked on that so i did not completely know what to expect but again i'm not trying to make any excuses about the same as well i'm not making any excuses for how, why i did bad over there it just wasn't easy for me but it was an interesting module and I'm not, I don't have any, any regrets that I took it as well. So my grade on one, the total grade that I got in this was 58 out of 100. And as you might know, 58 out of 100 is not a good grade, no matter what level you're studying at, but it was fine for me. So that's it. That's all I can say about my grade on. Well, moving forward, the next one was maths. Now, if you know me, Quite well you also know that I love math and I've been quite comfortable with maths for since grade 9 I used to be really bad at math before that but after grade 9 uh, after grade 9 I started doing well in math and since then I've loved doing math and to be honest mathematics one the module wasn't that difficult because most of the concepts that were asked in exams or were the part of this course were things that we had I had already done in my high school and most of it there was like most of the stuff I had done plus just a little bit extra so it wasn't that bad as well so yeah mathematics one turned out to be my best best grades and there were 84 again I believe that I could have done better on this uh, as if you've seen one of my previous videos you know that I'd forgotten my calculator for the exam but that's the thing in the past but 84 not that bad the next one is dynamics. Now dynamics was one of the tougher modules because the questions that you get asked in a, dynam in, a, in a dynamics exam are really tough because understanding the concepts in dynamics, like going through the notes and understanding what is going on, looking at the formula, all of that stuff can seem really easy. But actually getting to the problem solving point of view, it really, really gets difficult. But again, the paper this year wasn't that bad. Most of the people found it to be medium level not that difficult not that hard so it wasn't dif it wasn't difficult to pass in this exam but it was really difficult to get very good marks i ended up getting in dynamics i ended up getting a 75 out of 100 again which is not that bad i wasn't too disappointed with as well 75 again seven, anything above 70 is considered first class in the uk so uh, so not disappointed with this as well The next module, quantum physics and relativity. Again, most of the content that we did in quantum physics and relativity that I have never ever seen in my life before. Special relativity I had never done in my life. It is quite a difficult concept to get to know. Quantum physics as well, well, even if you're not from a physics background, even if you've not ever studied physics, you know the word quantum physics itself sounds dangerous. And to be honest, we were only introduced to quantum physics this time so we only had to do normal stuff like normalizing wave functions and 
we only dealt with wave functions and a little bit of Schrodinger's equation, but not a lot of it, only the time independent Schrodinger equation. Um, so it wasn't that bad, but special the first part of the course, which is the special relativity, was the tougher part. And but anyway, most of it was new, so we did not know what to expect going into the paper. Of course, we had looked at the past examination papers. So in this, I ended up getting a 7400 again. Not bad, not complaining. A first class yet again. But yeah, I think I could have done a little bit better if I had studied a little bit more for this module. But you know, I had to deal with all of the other modules as well. So 74, not complaining at all. Now, year one lab work is also a part of our course, but we have not been graded on it yet because it is a year long course. So, as you can see, all of the modules have 10 units to it, but lab work has 20, which includes semester one and semester two. So, we did not get the grades for lab work yet. We'll directly get it at the end of the year. And lab work was like the stuff that we did in labs was pretty difficult, but the marking was not that harsh. And most of us, we get good grades in labs so it shouldn't be a problem the next one was introduction to astrophysics now given that the course i'm doing is titled bsc physics with astrophysics people would be inclined to thinking that i would be really good at astrophysics and to be honest i'm not saying that i'm not good at astrophysics i love the module i love the lecture i loved everything about this module as well but the only thing was the way of giving the exam because this exam was held completely online. Online is not to sit in your room and give it yourself like an open book test, but you had to go to the computer cluster in the engineering building and give the exam right there. So if you've given any competitive exams in India like JE or um, KVPY or all of these exams that are held online, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You go there and you give it on the computer. Now, the problem with these kinds of exams, for me personally, is that you directly enter the final mark, right? You final answer in the in the space given. So, for example, you solve a huge numerical and you get down to one number and you have to type it in. And if you think that's right, and you type it in and you get marked zero if it's wrong and or you get marked 10 if it's correct, like you get the whole marks if it's correct. There's no in between. Like for example, if you have to show the work in, if you're doing the right method, but you still end up with the wrong answer, which is off by you know a little bit of, which is a little bit here and there, the examiner will yet give you the marks. But that is not the case with online exams, and that's the reason it did not quite work out in my favor. But again, I'm not giving any excuses. I sh we already knew what the pattern was going to be. So yeah, so it. It turned out to be 60 out of 100, one of my bad modules in this semester, but yeah, not complaining. Overall, I think semester one was not too good, not too bad. I know I could have done better. I know some people who've almost reached 90% overall and stuff as well, but it was just the semester one. And semester one for us is does not account a lot for our final grade. To give you an idea, only 10% of our first years counted out of the total 100 over the three years. 30% of our second years counted and 60% of our third years counted. And so semester one of first years basically is 5% of my degree. And so each module is only, is a little bit less than 1% if I include labs, which makes it six modules. So it is not worth that much. But again, this is the content that we study in year one is the foundation is the basis for the content that you're going to study in year two and year three so we cannot even take this lightly so yeah so that's about it for this um for all the modules now before i jump into my final grade and my final cgpa i'd just like to remind you guys to please subscribe to my channel or like my videos one of my recent videos got a lot of views it's just crossed 1000 views and i i'm really happy about that but I want to keep it going so yeah so that's just a little reminder but getting back to my final grade now just a second yeah so my final grade for this semester was a 70.2 uh, out of 100 so as you can see I have 
just scraped through to the first class territory because 70 plus is considered first class and basically 0.2 means one mark so I got lucky and one mark pushed me over to the first class but to be honest this is not where I want to be I want to be at least above 80s or I don't know I really genuinely want to be above 80s because growing up in an Indian high school 70 was considered to be extremely extremely bad but so here we are this was the first semester doing something new and coming into university for the first time so again not complaining so much I think I should be able to go forward take the momentum forward to my next semesters and the su subsequent years as well So yeah, thank you so much guys for watching the videos. If you liked it, please like the video and I'll see you soon.